I'm breaking down my November favorites. I've got skincare, makeup, and some great new hair products. Come along and join me. That's coming up next. Welcome back. I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. I've got my November favorites for you, and it's a small list, but it's mighty. And I'm really excited to share these products with you because they're great finds. I'm loving them, and I think that you'll enjoy hearing about them as well. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. And with that, let's get into November favorites. I want to start out the favorites for this month with skincare. And the first thing I want to talk about is <laughs> the products that I make in my kitchen. If you saw my DIY serum video, and if you didn't, I'll go ahead and link it up here. I was really kind of hesitant to do that video, but I had such a great reaction. So thank you guys for that. I am now making my own vitamin C serum and my own hyaluronic acid serum in my kitchen. And I wanted to share it as my favorites this month because it's the completely changed my skincare routine, making it at home. The reason is, is that where one of these bottles, this is vitamin C serum, used to last me maybe a month and a half, I'll go through almost a whole bottle in a week now, which means I get so much more vitamin C on my skin and I think it's really having an impact with the brightness and smoothness of my skin. The reason I can use so much more is because it's so very affordable and so easy. Literally, one of these bottles probably costs me less than a dollar. And this is hyaluronic acid. I now use it like lotion because I can make it in my kitchen again. And again, this bottle probably costs me less than a dollar to make. So if you're interested in vitamin C serum or hyaluronic acid serum and you hesitated because the price point to buy at retail can be so high, make sure you check out that video. And again, I'll link it up there. I think that you'll really enjoy the opportunity to make this at home. And I don't think I could ever go back to paying retail again. Having this in such large quantities to be able to make so easily and then to use it on my face, my neck, and the back of my hands is just really been such a treat. The next skincare product I want to talk about is the Derma Roller from Sadara. You might have seen my video on this Sadara Derma Roller and it was a sponsored video. They did contact me and you know it's really interesting. I have such a tiny, tiny little channel and yet I get contacted several times a week from different manufacturers wanting me to talk about their products or sponsor videos featuring their products. This is the first one that I said yes to. And the reason I said yes is because it's such a good product line. Look at how pretty this packaging is. And I hope that that color shows up. It's just gorgeous. It's a light soft green with gold embossed lettering. I mean, you guys know, this is me. I don't get crazy over packaging, but when the packaging contains a really good product, I get excited about it. When they first contacted me, I was really concerned with the price point of their product because I didn't want to talk about something that I thought was way too expensive. When I looked this up on Amazon, it's under $20. And this is a beautiful derma roller and I really enjoyed using them, sponsorship or not. So this is what it looks like and it's very ergonomically designed and I use it several times a week and I'm really, really enjoying it. I think it's gonna have a dramatic impact on my skin because my skin is peeling so much, which means that you know that upper layer of skin is sloughing off and creating new skin underneath it. If you've been looking for a derma roller or just thinking about picking one up, go ahead and check this out and I'll make sure that I have links to all this stuff down below. I think you might be impressed with this product and the price point is certainly very reasonable. Moving on to makeup now, I have a few makeup items that I'm really, really, really in love with this month. The first one is this CoverGirl Plus Olay Simply Ageless Foundation. I am in love with this formula. For some reason, this foundation makes my skin look almost flawless and that just doesn't happen to me. You can see I'm wearing it today the look of this foundation is beautiful and I generally put my foundation on with a foundation brush and then I'll move in with a sponge to kind of soften it out and give it that nice beautiful glow that a beauty blender really creates. With this, I almost don't even have to use the beauty blender. It goes on so beautifully. This formula is very, very matte and that's something that I want you to keep in mind because if matte is not your deal, this might not be the foundation for you. But if you're okay with matte, this 
formula is terrific. And what I've done is I've started adjusting the primer that I use underneath it to help give a little bit of glow to the foundation and add a little life to the skin. So I will use a combination of primers with this foundation. I'll first use my e.l.f. Mineral Infused Primer, which is a silicone-based primer. I love this stuff. And then I'll go in with the Wet n Wild Dewy Lumino primer. This is that kind of glossy, shimmery look. And you could get the same look with other products, not just this one. But I'll take this and just tap it on my cheeks before I put the Olay foundation on. And that kind of creates a real nice glow under my cheeks. You can see it now. I'm sure there are a lot of products that you could use that will give you that glow underneath the foundation. Soft Focus Glow from Milani would be one. There's a line from L'Oreal, the Glotion could also do it. The Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter would do it. I just like the Wet n Wild because I had it in my makeup drawer and it was very, very affordable. If you're looking for a foundation, you're not seeing one that you really like, you might want to give this a try. Boy, I, I love it. It's my current Holy Grail foundation and I'm so pleased that I got to try it. The next makeup product is from Joa and this was in the friend box from my good friend Jeannie over at Get This Glowing and I'll link her channel down below. She and I just have the funnest YouTube makeup friendship and she sent me a huge box of products and this Be My Everything palette was in there from Joa. I hadn't tried products from Joa yet. I believe they're only sold at CBS. So I was really thrilled to get this in my little friend mailbox. I am loving this palette because it's one of those all-in-one bronzer, contour, blush, and highlight. And I'm really liking the ease that these type of palettes create in my makeup routine. I've used this a number of times. I've been tickled every single time I've used it. The colors are beautiful. The bronzer is beautiful. The blush is beautiful. The highlight is fabulous. And I really, really enjoyed wearing the formula. This palette comes in two colorways. This is the sunset colorway, and they also have one that's called the sunrise colorway, which is a little bit lighter shade. If you're looking for an all-in-one palette that's affordable, drugstore pricing, check out this palette from Joa. I think that you'll really enjoy it. Again, this is the Be My Everything palette from Joa. Great formula. They're blendable. They're beautiful. And I really, really have liked this palette. The next products I want to talk about are a couple of lipsticks, and I've fallen in love with two formulas this month. The first one is Dose of Colors, and I didn't buy this. I got this, I'm pretty sure, in my BoxyCharm box. I am not a high-end lipstick purchaser, but apparently it's my job here on Earth to buy every drugstore lipstick there is. If you know me, if you watch my videos, you'll know that I just have a thing for buying lipstick. So I never would have purchased this Dose of Colors lipstick on my own, but I'm so tickled that they sent it to me. This is in the color Flirty, and I'm wearing it right now. It is the most perfect, beautiful nude color. And you can see it comes with just a small little applicator. This is a matte liquid lipstick, and I'll have to say, I have never worn a liquid lipstick that's as comfortable and long wearing as this Dose of Colors. So I will give them that. This is a beautiful formula. I think the color is terrific, stays on all day, and it doesn't feel really dry. It does feel like a liquid lipstick in that mm, it has just a little bit of that, oh, sort of something on your lips that's dried a little bit, but it's not that cracky drying kind of thing. I'm really, really enjoying this lipstick, and I'm actually thinking about buying a couple of other colors. I wouldn't mind getting one that's a little bit lighter. If you've tried Dose of Colors and you've enjoyed it, make sure you put it down in the comments below. I want to hear what your experiences have been. I'm absolutely loving this lipstick, and I'm so glad that I got the opportunity to try it. The next lipstick is also from Joa, and I was so surprised to find these line of lipsticks at CVS at the drugstore. Is that case just gorgeous? Look at this. It's just a beautiful case. The packaging on this lipstick is stunning in my mind, for particularly for a drugstore lipstick with a $5.99 price point. But the very best part is the color inside. This is absolutely such a beautiful neutral color. It's exactly like your lips, only better. Here, I'll go ahead and swatch it on my hand for you so that you can see it. 
right there. Isn't that just so pretty? I have worn this four or five times a week since I purchased it. It's absolutely a beautiful color. And apparently these lipsticks are formulated with argan oil. They're really creamy. They have kind of a very luxurious feel when you put them on. It feels a lot like the L'Oreal Color Riche lipstick to me. Not quite as glidey and glossy as that, but definitely as hydrating. This is the color Yes, and it's spelled Y-A-A-A-S. So it's Yes. <laughs> I am absolutely loving it. And when I wear this lipstick, this is another favorite from this month, I'm using the Milani Spice Lip Liner. And I've had this for a while, and I pulled it out when I got this lipstick because I wanted just the perfect liner to go with it. And I'm so enjoying this. Here, I'll put this right next to the Yes lipstick, and you can see how well they go together. Isn't that just the prettiest combination? And when I wear this combination, it's just such a beautiful, neutral, natural look. Loving this combination of the Joa Lipstick in Yes and the Milani Lip Liner in Spice. Now I want to share with you some wonderful hair care products that I found, and I've been using them and absolutely loving them. As you can probably tell, I got a new haircut. Isn't that kind of cute? <laughs> but what happens when you get a new haircut is then you have to learn how to style it in the new way. So I have this new haircut and I needed some products that were really going to support the hairstyle. And I was a little bit worried about it because I thought, oh gosh, you know, hair care products, that's a whole different realm that I'm really not that familiar with. And it can get expensive. I mean, hair care products really can add up. And when you're already doing the whole skincare and makeup thing, it just becomes you know, quite another chunk of change that you need to sink in to your looks. I was so grateful to find this line of hair care products and I'm so excited to share them with you because I think that you're going to love them. It's from Sally Beauty and it is their generic line of hair care products. They're very, very affordable. Sally Beauty runs a lot of specials and they're absolute dupes for other hair care products. The first one I want to share with you is their Generic Smoothing Serum. This is a dupe for the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum, which is super popular, super well known. Everyone loves it. This is what I put on right after I get out of the shower. I've washed my hair. So I'll just put a little small dime size on my hand, rub it between my palms, and work it all the way through my hair. What this does is it really smooths out and adds shine and body to the hair so that when you do style it, you've got a little bit of lift and a little bit of oomph to it. This generic, I think it it's definitely under $10. I'll make sure that all the links are available for you. Under $10, I got it on sale just recently. Buy one, get one, 50% off. So I definitely bought two of these and I think that this one bottle will probably last me at least six months. So a great value. The next hair care product is a root lifter and this is also from Generic and it's called their Volumizing Root Lifter. And this is a dupe for the Matrix Wonder Boost. This is what will give that lift to the top of my hair. Once I put in the Super Skinny Serum dupe, which is their smoothing serum, then I'll put in the root lift. And you just spray a little bit on the root area of your hair, rub it in really well so that it gets all around the roots, and then you can go ahead and dry it with a hair dryer or let your hair air dry. Between this root lifter and this smoothing serum, I really have a smoothing, shiny formula and roots that have a little bit of lift and bounce, and I'm loving it. The last hair care product I wanna to talk to you about is a huge, huge bottle, can you believe? This is their 14 ounce bottle, and I also caught this on the sale, buy one, get one 50% off, so I have two of these large bottles. I imagine they're gonna last me for several months. This is the generic from Sally Beauty Volumizing Spray, and this is a dupe for the Kenra Volume Spray, and I really am enjoying it. I will use this to style my hair, so I will put a little bit on my spray, a little bit on a section of hair, and then you know curl it with the curling iron or the flat iron or however I'm doing it, and then I actually use it to hold my style when I'm very done. The nice thing is, is that it holds but doesn't have that sticky feeling. It just has a nice soft finish to it, and I can have two or three day hair and not have that dry, sticky, yucky buildup 
using this. So I'm really enjoying this formula. I have two of these large bottles. I'm sure they're going to last me for several months. If you're looking for a hairspray or any kind of hair care product, I really would recommend that you check out this generic brand from Sally Beauty. They're wonderful products at a great price point. Well, those are my favorites for the month of November. I found so many wonderful things that I'm really pleased to be adding to my regular beauty routine. I hope you found it helpful and found a few products that you might be interested in checking out. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad that you stopped by. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell before you leave. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Make sure you visit us online at prettyover50.com. I'd love to see you there. It just tickles me when you take a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me, so thank you so much for stopping by. Make it a great day, have a wonderful week, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.